The last form of the if statement to discuss is the if else if statement. Let's look at the general form of that now. We have the keyword if followed by a relational expression. If that relational expression is true, the statements in the statement block are executed and control drops outside the if statement. If that relational expression is false, then the first if else if relational expression is tested. If it is true, then the statements in that statement block are executed and control drops out of the if statement. If that relational expression is not true, if there is another is else if to check, then that relational expression is tested. And so on and so forth until you get to a final optional else, which is executed if none of the other relational expressions are true. The if else if statement is used primarily when you have a structured decision to make, such as the following. A college instructor might have a grading scale that looks like this. If we were going to translate this into if else if code, we might say something like, if the numeric score is greater than or equal to 90, then the letter grade is A. Else if the numeric score is greater than or equal to 80, then the letter grade is B. Else if the numeric score is greater than or equal to 70, then the letter grade is C. Else if the numeric grade is greater than or equal to 60, then the letter grade is D. Else the letter grade is F. We don't have to make the last check since we can assume that since none of the others were true, then the numeric grade must be in the range of 0 to 59. With that in mind, let's write some code to actually perform this grade conversion program. We'll start out by creating an integer variable grade, followed by a string variable letter grade. Now we're going to prompt the user to enter a grade and get the grade from the console. Now we're ready to start the if else if statement. We start out by saying if grade is greater than or equal to 90, letter grade is equal to A. Else if grade is greater than or equal to 80, letter grade equals B. Close the brace. Else if grade greater than or equal to 70, letter grade equals C. Else if grade is greater than or equal to 60, letter grade is equal to D. Else letter grade is equal to F. Close the last brace. Then we can write out a statement to let the user know what the letter grade is based on the grade that they entered. So we'll start with the C out, the letter grade for A, we'll drop down to the next line, grade, that's the numeric grade the user entered, is a, we'll drop down to the next line, letter grade, and a period, and an indel. Now we're ready to test the program. So the first thing we're going to do is build and run it. And it builds and runs just fine. So let's enter some grades. We'll start out with the middle grade. Let's try a 79. That gets a C. Let's run it again with a little bit higher grade, 98. That's an A. That's correct. Now let's try it with a bit of a lower grade. Let's try a 64. And that's a D. We haven't tried B or F yet, so we'll give both of those a shot. Let's say 87 is a B. And we haven't done F, so we'll do a well, 23. And that's an F. So we've tested it with all the different possible letter grades. The only thing we could do to improve this program is also test for grades that are outside the possible range, such as less than 0 or greater than 100, unless you're giving bonus points. But we'll save that kind of program testing for another time. This is a classic example of a structured if-else-if problem. And in my next video, I'd like to show you how we can improve this program, or at least modify it, by adding logical operators.